Relatives of deceased members of the armed forces have come to the Restore and Ministry of Defence stand at the Rootstech genealogy event in London to get a copy of their family member's service record. So I'd like to find out a bit about my granddad if I can. Yep. Many of these people have come to better understand what their relatives went through, as veterans rarely speak about their experiences of war. He never really talked about it because if he got onto the subject he would cry. And so it would mean a lot to me to find out what it was that happened to him to put him into that kind of, uh, um, you know, have these mental health issues. I just wanted to find out what he did because he's been dead for 20 years now and my mum's dead and I've got no other way of finding anything out about him now. Providing families with access to service records is something that the MOD recognises is an important public service. For this event, they are doing the searches in real time. This is what brings our work to life. Uh, we have, uh, together with Restore, who, who actually keep them for us, we have millions of service records and behind every service record is a real person um, with a real story to tell and to be able to do things for people in real time today, to bring all of the records that we've got, bring their, their relatives and friends back to life effectively and fill in gaps in family history. It's a real privilege. In order to do the searches in real time, the MOD's record management partner, Restore, have staff and technology at the stand. The first step is to search the database to see if a record exists. If it does, the member of the public must have a copy of their relative's death certificate and pay a £30 fee to order a copy. The completed order is sent to the highly secure Restore storage facility, where a member of staff will search the database for the record's location. There are 1.8 million boxes of records, but the Restore staff are able to go straight to the exact location of the record to retrieve it. Once retrieved, the record is scanned and the image is checked for quality and sensitive information by the redacting officer. The scan is then transferred back to the MOD stand where it is printed for collection. For Restore, it's a rare chance to see the reaction of people receiving their relative's record. Oh, it's absolutely great. And, you know, you can see it on the, on the faces of the members of the public. You get so many different stories about what their relatives did in the various services. And to be able to offer that here at, at Roots Tech has been brilliant. For the families, it's a very welcome service. My dad died 25 years ago this year. And I'd always meant to get his uh, service record, but never actually went to the trouble. I knew it would take some months to get it back. And so when I saw that the MOD was offering the three-hour service, I was really excited and they exceeded my expectations delivering my dad's service record in one and a half hours as opposed to the three hours promised. I'm a genealogist professionally, I do this all day long. I do it for other people, but this is mine. And I don't hardly ever get time to do mine, so having my own grandfather's service history is just amazing. The Roots Tech event has been just one example of how the Ministry of Defence and Restore have been working together to keep important records safe and secure, but easily accessible by using the latest technology.